Hello, I'm Rachel Porter, and in this Awaken Learning video, we're going to learn seven sensational Google Doc add-ons for teachers. Now, what is an add-on? Well, it's a feature that you can enable in Google Docs that gives you some functionality you didn't have before, much like an extension in Google Chrome. So let's get started. I'll show you seven that I want to highlight today, and at the end of this video, I will show you how to find and enable them on your Google Docs account. The first Google Doc add-on that I want to show you is for our math teachers. Uh, a lot of what I'm going to show lends a little more towards language arts or science or social studies. But for our math teachers, we'll start with you with the add-on GMath. So if I go to my add-ons and I go to GMath, you can see that I have lots of options. I'm going to start with an expression. I can type in my latex code or I can come down here more likely you're going to come down and grab something let's let's do a quadratic equation so I can come down here like that um, I can change the size on it if I want to do that so it's set to 50 but let's make it 60 Oops. and then I just insert it and there it is I can also come in here and do some editing so let's say I want to make that x10 you see that that changes it there and then when I insert it, you'll see the 10 here as well. And it is just an image that I can drag around and, and wrap and all of those things. Um, there's a lot of other features here. I won't show you all of them, but another great um, option is the graphing capabilities. So I can come in here and, and select a graph and put in a code there. There we go. So there's my graph, and I can, of course, adjust the parameters of that graph over here and make it just the way I need it to be, and then insert it into my document. So GMath add-on for Google Docs. Next, we're going to take a look at some add-ons that are particularly good for language arts, science, social studies, anytime you're having students write a paper. So the first one I'll, we'll look at is the add-on for EasyBib. You're probably familiar with that website, and now it's available as a Google Docs add-on. So I'm going to come here and manage my bibliography. Let's say that um, for this paper, we used a book called Color Psychology. And let's say we use this one by Virginia Osgood. All I have to do is select the book when I find it, and it creates that bibliography entry for me. Let's say that I also um, used a journal article that was published on a website. So I can paste the URL for that into this website tab. There's my article, so I say select. And you can see that we're just building this bibliography right here. When I'm all done and ready to, I can add it to the doc. And it's going to put it in at the end of my document. There it is, formatted properly and everything. I can also switch to different styles of citations. Um, so it was on MLA by default, but I have lots of different options to choose from. I didn't even know most of those existed. So easy bib add-on for Google Docs. Two add-ons I want to show you have to do with providing some feedback for your students, editing, revising their paper um, prior to them turning it in. So the first one is called SAS Writing Re Reviser. And this, again, it comes from a website that has made a, an add-on available. I am a huge fan of the SAS Writing Reviser. It is a really great tool. Um, and now it's available right inside Google Docs. So we just click on this. We'll open the Writing Reviser. First thing I'll show you is the statistics that you can bring up. I think that's under support tools here. Okay, so it's going to bring up a ton of statistics about my paper that it generates very quickly, everything from word count um, to some really very helpful information as the teacher or as the student, like um, we have 57 present tense verbs, no past tense verbs. So really good to see that the writing didn't shift tense as the student was going on. Um, we can see passive voice. There are four instances of that. So the statistics are great, but now let's go in and take a look at um, some of those specific things, like here's that passive voice one. So let's run the, the scan on that. And now it's highlighting for me the passive voice verbs. And I can go in and take a look at that. It even gives me a little bit of teaching and instruction here as well. So a really great tool for students to use as they are um, revising their papers from their original draft form. 
Next, let's take a look at Kaizena. This is a great add-on for being able to give your students feedback on their writing. You can do that verbally or by text or even send them some links. So let me open up Kaizena Mini over here. Okay, and so I'm going to highlight something that I want to comment on, like this contraction right here. I'll click New Feedback. Okay, I'm going to enter, you know, kind of a skill that we're talking about here. So let's talk about contractions. I'm going to give it a, a rating there. Okay, so now I have the option to add a voice feedback, a comment feedback, or provide a link. So I'll just give them a little voice feedback here. Start recording. Do you have to give it permission? Contractions are something you should try to avoid when possible, but especially here. I think it would make it more powerful if you said it could just be because they are angry, rather than making that into a contraction. Okay, so there's my feedback. Um, just a few seconds of um, me actually speaking to the student about their document. So I think that's really powerful. Like I said, you can also attach a lesson by means of a URL um, link to that or write a text comment as well. Now let's say that this paper has been turned in and it's ready for some grading. We can use a great add-on to include a rubric. Orange Slice Teacher Rubric. So as the teacher, I can come in here and create my rubric parameters any way I want them. It's highly customizable, so I'm going to choose that. I'm just going to throw all of these categories into my rubric just for fun. You can also add your own custom levels. I'm going to create the rubric, and it's going to place it right here within the document. So it's right before the actual student writing um, shows up. Now um, I'm ready to start grading this. So I can go through and as I'm reading and evaluating the student's paper, I can come in here and give them their markings in each area as I feel they have earned them and simply process their grade. And ta-da, you can see the student's score based on how I had that rubric set up. You can see that it's highlighted the options that I chose to give the student really good feedback on their writing and how they could have improved this paper. Add-on I want to show you is called Lucid Chart, and it's for diagramming. Now there's another one called Gliffy, and they're both very popular. I prefer Lucid Chart. Um, just partially because of the layout of it. I just, I like the way it, it works better. But also, both programs have a free and a paid version. On Lucid Chart, you have a limit of five. So if you reach your limit, you can delete an old one and make more space and continue using the free program. Gliffy works the same way, except the limit is only one. So you can only have one at a time with their free version. So I'm going to recommend Lucid Chart. Insert a diagram. And it's going to bring up the diagrams that I have already created. I can create a new one, or I can come to one I've already started and edit it. So I'll let this load. It's opening a new tab here. And so all I have to do is drag and drop shapes. I can connect them. I can even put text in the middle here. Oops. And when I'm done, I just save this. Sorry. And I can come back here to my document, and then I can just insert it in. It inserts in as an image, so I'll be able to move it around anywhere I need to in my document and also resize one it. One more Google Doc add-on and this one is for our foreign language teachers who get left out of everything and are always struggling with the accents that may be um, in the languages that they are teaching. So there's a great new add-on for that. Easy accents. All I have to do is start this over on the side, select my language, and then I have this keyboard of accents that I can choose from as I'm typing. So I just come over there and insert what I need, and ta-da, or should I say, voila. 
So go out and find yourself a great Google Doc add-on that's going to make your life easier. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me.